Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Today we are very late. We've come late. We got some technical issues. We are supposed to start an hour ago, but uh, we failed to make it in time. However, we shall still move and uh, do some live. So uh, today we are going to answer questions from uh, people. Just set in your question and we see what we can do. Okay. Uh, those of you welcome to our live. Uh, those of you on YouTube, those of you on TikTok and everyone. We are very late today. Our lives are supposed to start at exactly 7, but we got some technical challenge. Nevertheless, we are going to start and uh, let the questions begin uh, so that we can answer you. So those of you who have medical questions, let them trickle in. Within one hour, we shall be closing this live for YouTube. And uh, within 30, in 30 minutes, we shall be closing this live for TikTok. Then YouTube will take a full hour. So let me start straight away. All these ones are just greeting me. Rhoda, good evening, doctor. Good evening to you. Good afternoon. So all these are greetings. Uh, I just need the questions and then we start. So I think let me start with uh, uh, the one on TikTok is having a question and then we shall be going to YouTube when the questions arrive. Okay, this one is saying too simple day. I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, questions are... All right, this one is saying uh, different styles. He's saying best natural methods for getting pregnant with polycystic ovarian syndrome. You see, with polycystic ovarian syndrome, I will not advise you to... Uh, there are no, the natural methods you're talking about may not be readily available. What you need to do is to treat the polycystic ovarian syndrome. So if you have a problem with polycystic ovarian syndrome, make sure that you treat, treat the disease and then see how you can uh, uh, conceive. Mrs. B... Hello, how are you? Where are you calling from? And what's your question, Mrs. B? Hello, Mrs. B. Be very loud when you're asking your question. How are you and where are you calling from? All right, this one is, uh, is not loud enough. Let's uh, get another question. Priscilla Kawira is saying, Hi, Dr. Myself, I'm already pregnant and I don't want to keep. What's the easy way of uh, miscarriage? Really. Uh, there are several ways someone can use to... There are several ways someone can use uh, in, if they want to have a miscarriage, a forced miscarriage, and that you can call it an abortion. But it can be uh, what we call the safe abortion. You can use uh, medical methods and also surgical methods. By medical methods, it means you're going to use medicines, the tablets. And then surgical methods, it means someone is going to move in. There is a method called MVA. There is also a method called D and C. I'm not going to the details, but that's what is available in hospitals. Ma, then this one is saying, uh, Nakamanya saying, Assalamu alaikum. Thanks, uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Nakamanya, hajara, okay. Mkuoporo, Frank Achimezi saying, Hello, Doctor, good evening, good evening to you. Mariam Sise, you're saying, I'm married for three years now and still I don't have a child. Mariam, how old are you? Because if we, we are to help you, if you're not able to get a child, we, first, we need to first know how old you are. First of all, how old are you? Uh, is, uh, have you ever conceived? Okay, we need to know if you've ever conceived. How old are you? Have you ever conceived? Uh, what's the length of your menstrual cycle? Do you see your menses? And so on. Mrs. B, you had a question. What's your question? What is the problem and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Cairo. You're calling from Cairo. Yes. How are you? What's your question? Okay, this one is saying a different, okay, what are best options for treatment? The best options for treating a polycystic ovarian syndrome, you're supposed to use their medicines, right, those medicines. There is a medicine called Rimona. Rimona. Rimona can be used to treat over, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Then there's another medicine called Epecos and so many other medicines. Then, of course, when you're planning to get pregnant, you are going to use this Rimona 
or PECOS, uh, alongside medicines, uh, medicines like uh, that stimulate LOH and FSH, medicines like uh, uh, tamoxifen, medicines like clomiphene, medicines like litrazo. So those are the medicines you can use if you want to conceive with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, then we have uh, this one is saying uh, Aguti. I saying good evening, doctor. I have taken five years without having sex. And, uh, and I now feel knees, knee pain and legs. What could be the problem? <laughs> you see, not having sex, you can't have knee pain. You can't have uh, neck pain. You can't have all those pains. It's just psychological that because you feel like you want to have sex and then when you get any pains, you'll act. It's like those people saying that when you take long without playing sex, you'll have back pain. That is a myth. <laughs> it is a myth because someone was telling me, you know, when you take long without having sex, the, those fluids that are supposed to move out during ejaculation, and also for women, the, those fluids that come out, they remain at the back. So when they accumulate at the back, someone gets pain. That's a wrong notion. Uh, pain is not caused by a failure to have sex or uh, long duration without having sex. So that's not an issue. If you have, uh, uh, if you have uh, knee, knee pain and leg pain, just find out what is happening. To, uh, do tests, go to the hospital, cut out tests, and then treat accordingly. It's not related to, to you not having sexual intercourse. Okay, then Godwin Marcus is saying, Hello, doctor. If women put a plant, plant for, for hand and remove it before experiencing death, can she conceive? Now, Godwin, uh, tomorrow at exactly 8 p.m., that is 20 hours East African time, we are going to be releasing a video about how you can conceive faster after using family planning. Because we know there are many women that have used implants, you've used an injection, you've used emergency pills, and right now you're looking for a baby, you want to conceive. So, tomorrow we are releasing that video, be on my YouTube channel at exactly 8 p.m. we shall be releasing a video concerning how you can get pregnant faster after using uh, after using an imp especially an implant and those emergency pills. Most people who have used implants and injector plants have ended up becoming infertile. So tomorrow we are uh, we are going to show you that video how you can uh, conceive fast after using an implant. Uh, Mabol Chol, you're saying. Oh, your question is running away. Mabol Chol, you're saying. Hello, doctor. My wife, menstruation length is always 21 to 24 days, and we wanna know the ovulation time. All right. So, if you want to calculate the ovulation time, the ov ovulation day for a twin, you're saying it's uh, 21 to 24 days. So, if you're 21 to 24 days, we shall take. We shall take the length of the menstrual, we shall take 21, okay? So we shall take 21 as the, uh, as the length of, of your menstrual cycle. Because I told you, we use the shortest, okay? We shall, we shall take 21, so we use the shortest cycle, we use the shortest length to catch it, the, your ovulation in day. Therefore, we shall use 21 days. So we shall say 21 minus uh, 18, uh, 21 minus 18, you get 3. Uh, 3 plus 4, you get 7. Hey, these ones on TikTok are not seen. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. So, we sh because we are using 21 days as the length of your menstrual cycle, so we shall say 21 minus 18, we get 3. Uh, that, that 3 we get plus 4, we get 7. And then 4 plus I mean 7, sorry, this 7 we get, plus 5 we get 12. Therefore, from the third day up to the 12th day, your woman can conceive. That woman can conceive, can get pregnant from the third up to the 12th day. Then the ovulation day you're asking for is the seventh day. So, with if looking at what your woman has, okay, the length of her menstrual cycle being 24 days, the length of your menstrual cycle, someone is calling me disturbing us here. The length of your menstrual cycle being 21 to, to 24 days. Therefore, you're supposed to use this seventh day. Uh, it is your ovulation day, and that is the day that woman will be able to conceive and you get a baby. Uh, then we have a question here. Someone is saying, 
Someone is say is called Patricia Kembavu is saying I have one fallopian tube and I'm seven weeks pregnant. Am I going to deliver safely? Yes. Having one fallopian tube cannot stop you from delivering safely. You'll have a safe delivery, I assure you, except if there is any other problem. Maybe if you get problems like uh, maybe you've gotten a preeclampsia, maybe you've gotten any other problem. In other words, you don't have any dif there is no difference between you who has one tube and another woman who has both tubes as far as uh, delivering complications and so on are concerned. So, whatever problem you may receive will not be related to you having only one fallopian tube. So, there is no problem. <clears throat> this one is called Betty, three months post cesarean section. I lost the baby due to preeclampsia. How long should I take before conceiving again? Number one, if you, if you lost your baby as a result of preeclampsia, it means you, you, you developed high blood pressure during pregnancy. First, the first thing is to make sure that your, your, your pressures are stabilized. Your blood pressure is normal. <coughs> to make sure that your blood pressure is normal. When your blood pressure is normal, then you can plan to conceive. We have always said that if you get any miscarriage or you get, uh, 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 you get any miscarriage or all such, uh, you said you had a C-section. Someone who has a C-section, you're supposed to deliver after 18, 18 months, okay? 18 months. Personally, I tell my people to, um, the women who come to me, to deliver or to conceive after two years. But uh, what is written or what is recommended is 18 months and above. That is one year and a half. So you have to wait until one year and a half. But what I was saying that if you had preeclampsia, make sure that this preeclampsia is being treated, it's be, uh, the, the hypertension is being managed. Make sure that your blood pressures are being normalized. You are now normal. So that even after conceiving, make sure that that pregnancy is monitored by a doctor so that the pressures are kept at normal ranges. So there is no problem conceiving again, but it should be after two years. Okay? I, personally, I advise two years, but uh, you, can, you can do it at, at 18, week, 18 months and above. Okay, Lillian, uh, uh, this one is saying, Rose Natwe is saying, what's the best sleeping position for a pregnant woman? The best sleeping position for a pregnant woman is the left position. How can I demonstrate that? Okay, let's assume this is the woman. The woman, left lateral, I can demonstrate. Don't mind about my drawing, my fine art, Chigundu. You should help me with fine art. You did fine art. You did fine art, so you shouldn't. But this is that woman. <laughs> so this is the pregnant woman. Eh? Yeah? This is our pregnant woman. When you're going to sleep, <coughs> it's fine art here today. Let's assume this is the bed. This is your bed. So you are supposed to sleep. No. What I'm saying, you're supposed to sleep in the left lateral position. Left lateral position, sleep when you are, I will not be able to draw that, but sleep like this. Sleep while uh, the, 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 the bottom part should be this, the, the, the part below should be your left side. In other words, sleep on the left side. Get your, like, sleep in the sides, the left side of your body should be down, should be on, 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 at the bed level. I don't know if people have understood me, but you shouldn't sleep facing up, don't sleep facing down, just sleep in the sides and on, on the left side. Okay. Okay, uh, we have another question. This one is saying, uh, please, how long does it take to be pregnant again? What do you mean by preg to be pregnant again? After what? I've not understood you. Uh, Alvarez J is saying, I had, f uh, I had four years old girl 
now we want a baby boy we are trying last two to get pregnant sir please help so if you want to have a you want to have a baby you're trying to get pregnant to a baby boy if you want to have a baby boy make sure that you target sexual intercourse on your ovulation day if you want to have a baby boy target sexual intercourse on your ovulation day but avoid having sex on the other fertile days do not meet your man during the other fertile days meet meet your man only on your ovulation day meet your man on only on only your ovulation day uh, then we have uh, godwin marcus hello doctor if women see her period on 14 what is the ovulation day you you see when you get you're giving me the, the if you want to know your ovulation day you need to give me the length of of your of the woman's menstrual cycle i need to first know the length of her menstrual cycle in order to calculate her ovulation day Hello, Doc. I'm um, Mbabu. If, uh, if 27 years and I, I failed to conceive and I have done HSG test but no positive results. What do you mean by you, you've done HSG and no positive results? What do you mean by positive results? What, what does the HSG? Because with HSG, we don't have positive and negative results. It's either your tubes are blocked or they are open. That is HSG. So I don't know what exactly you did. Uh, then. Rahim al Shawid is saying, Doctor, I want to get pregnant with a baby girl. Okay, all the best, but what is the length of uh, your menstrual cycle? You give me the length of your menstrual cycle, and then I give you the days you can have a baby girl. Okay, we have more questions here. Good evening, Doc. I have four years boy, but since I'm not getting pregnant, yet they told me I am fine. What do you mean? Uh, this is Afi. Afi wa mami. <laughs> Afi wa mami. Afi wa mami is saying uh, four years and uh, she's not conceiving. Now, wh what do you mean by they told you that you're fine? What did you do? Let me understand. If you want to know that you are fine, you, you, you don't have any problem, any infertility issue, then tell me that you did an ultrasound scan, a pelvic ultrasound scan. That is number one. Tell me that you did a uh, uh, fertility hormonal assay. You tested for all the, especially the six major fertility hormones tell me that you did that number three tell me uh, that you did uh, you, 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 you 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 did an hsg x-ray at least if you at least you did those, those three tests the fertility hormonal assay the hsg x-ray and then uh, uh, and then the pelvic ultrasound scan then i can say okay yes you did something other than that you've not yet done anything mommy one is called you a few mummy. Uh, this one is Ayoko Monika is saying, Hello, doctor. My wife got missed abortion twice and I took her to Juba for treatment. And the doctor, the doctor said what? Okay. Kevin Doc, Kevin Doc, Kevin is saying, Doc, good evening. I was told that I have ovarian cyst and I treated. Can I get pregnant? Yes. There is no problem. There is no reason as to why you, if you treat the ovarian cyst, the next is getting pregnant, except if there is something else. When you treat an ovarian cyst, treated completely, conceiving becomes fair. It is okay. It is, it, it, there is no problem. Uh, there is no reason as to why you should not be conceiving. Rose Natwera got, got you, Dr. Thanks. At a gun. At a gun. <laughs> yeah, I've failed to draw. I've failed to draw. I've failed to draw. Okay. Then we have... Uh, these ones are now laughing at me. People are laughing at my art. Eh? People are laughing at my art. I would have borrowed some knowledge from Mr. Frank. I have someone who is an artist here. Mr. Frank, Chigundo Frank is with me here. So, but he's a very good artist. He would have uh, helped me to draw uh, this, that picture of a woman sleeping on the left lateral side. <laughs> Okay, trendy, uh, trendy Porsche Essentials is saying, please reply, Mr. Reply, what's your question? I, you, rep you repeat your question. Uh, Priscilla Kawira, everyone is now talking about my art. Uh, okay, Priscilla Kawira, Doc, how do, uh, Priscilla Kawira, how do one calculate how many weeks they are when they are pregnant? All right, 
when you want to calculate the number of weeks you have, start from, you see, the problem, the, the problem we face, a woman comes, you tell her you are 10 weeks pregnant, okay, or you are 8 weeks pregnant, that means you are 2 months pregnant, or you are 20 weeks, uh, 20 weeks pregnant, that means you are Five, uh, five months pregnant and she will tell you no that doctor that's not true me I know I am six months and why that does that come about how does that come about it's because for you you start calculating from the day you had the sex that's when you start calculating and you feel like you should calculate from that day you met your spouse from the day you had sexual intercourse now you start counting from there that is not right what you're supposed to do is to count the first day of your last menstrual cycle. What do I mean? Because when you conceive, it means you're no longer seeing your periods. You're no longer undergoing menstruation. But that means there is the last time you saw your menstruation, you, you had your menses. So the last cycle has that first day. The first day you saw blood in that menstrual cycle is when you start counting the number of weeks. So you count from there. I think it's now very clear. Uh, uh, Pinku, Pinku Saho is saying, hello doctor, I want to get pregnant with a baby boy. I've said those who want to get pregnant with baby boys, target sex on your ovulation day. Trendy Porsche, you're saying, my men's come twice in 45 days. Can I ovulate, sir? And I did ovulation last year, no, evacuation last year in November. Your menstruation come twice in, 20, in 45 days. What exactly do you mean? Do you mean that your, the length of your menstrual cycle is 22.5 days? But your question, you're saying, uh, can I ovulate? Yes, you can ovulate. There is, if, if, you, if you don't have a problem with your luteinizing hormone, if you don't have a problem with your follicle stimulating hormone, then it is okay, you can ovulate, there is no problem. Rose in that way saying, Kugambi, anti Musayansa. People are now discussing about my fine art. I, I'll, I'll stop uh, uh, drawing for you because when I draw badly, you now start making fun of me. How long, Dorin Tindimueva, how long does M2 tone take to restore periods? It's not, M, M2 tone will not completely restore your periods. Come on. Because restoring periods, you need to first know what, what is causing that. M2 tone, yes, can help. Okay? It can try, but you need to treat the cause. If your progesterone levels are low, then M2 tone will not help you. Sharon Love is saying, after six years of having my daughter, I was later pregnant last year after one month. I had a miscarriage and I have been trying to conceive since, but nothing is coming. How long does it take to be pregnant again? You see, the moment you, after, after giving birth, you can conceive, it's, it's six weeks are enough for you to come back to fertility. Because most women will see, most women will see their menses six weeks after delivery. So six weeks after delivery, you're good to go. You can conceive. So if you're not conceiving after six years, it means there is an infertility issue there. There is a problem happening and you need to check and find out what is happening with you. Trendy, posh, essential saying, have asked again, sir. I said, I see my period is twice in 45 days. Can some, can, can see one on the 20th? and see another on the third of a new month. My question is, can I ovulate? So if, let's calculate for you. If we look at 20 days, uh, if for example you see it on the 20th, let's see. You've seen your periods on the 20th. Aha, uh -huh. then you see again on the third. 20th of one month, third, so we say 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now let's assume the month is on, is, okay, let's, uh, let, let's go to 31, then 1, 2, and then 3. So let's count the number of days, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14. You cannot. You cannot. You have a problem. Your, your, your menstrual cycle is, is abnormal. Posh essentials. Your menstrual cycle is abnormal. You cannot ovulate. Simple. You cannot ovulate. Therefore, you need to get treatment. You need to first uh, do tests, identify what is causing uh, your ab the abnormal men menstrual cycle, and then treat that accordingly. Uh, Rahim Al Shawude saying, Doctor, uh, <clears throat> Doctor, my measured cycles are 21 days, oh, yo, 21 days of each month. So how can I get pregnant with a baby girl? Your, uh, so 21, if your, the cycle is, your, the length of your menstrual cycle is 21 days, it means your ovulation day is on the seventh day. That means uh, seventh day you can, you can conceive and get pregnant, okay? Uh, seventh day you can conceive and get pregnant, but that will be a baby boy. Then uh, sixth day you can conceive, get pregnant, that will still be a baby boy. Uh, fifth day, you can conceive, get pregnant, that will still be a baby boy. So, fourth day, uh, for the fourth day, the, the third and the second, the, and the, the fourth, and the se uh, fourth and the third day, that's when you're supposed to have sex and conceive a baby girl. Okay, Godwin Makasi saying, hello doctor, if women see her period on 13th, 14th, 15th, what is her ovulation date? You see now, when you tell me, you give me those days, 14th of which month? Because I'm supposed to count the, the, the length of the menstrual cycle. And the length of the menstrual cycle will vary because different months have different uh, periods. For example, there are months that have uh, 30 days, others, 20, uh, others 28 days, others 31 days. So which one are you meaning? Mbabu Ivrin, uh, you're saying, hello, doctor, I have failed to get pregnant four to, four to two years. For two years. They advised me to take clomiphene citrate for three cycles, but it has, I think it has not worked. Now, Mbabu Ivrin, before you get advice, Mbabu Ivrin, before you get advice to use clomiphene, First, ask the person advising you to use clomiphene whether you have a problem with your luteinizing hormone and follicosmining hormone. I find a problem with many people. Someone is failing to conceive and they are giving you clomiphene. For what? What is it going to do? Clomiphene works when your problem is ovulation. You have a problem with, your, with ovulation, you have a problem with your luteinizing hormone or follicosmining hormone. That is when you employ the, 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 the clomiphene or clomid and litrazo. Other than that, you'll swallow tins and tins of clomiphene, you'll not conceive. Because you've not solved the problem. You are swallowing tins and tins of clomiphene when the problem is, uh, when, when you have uh, blocked fallopian tubes. So what will, what will happen? Tubes are blocked. If if tubes are blocked, you are supposed to unblock them for you to conceive. But you're not supposed to use clomiphene. Clomiphene will not unblock tubes. If you have a problem with progesterone, there are low levels of progesterone. Will, 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 will clomiphene work on progesterone? If you have high prolactin levels, high levels of prolactin hormone, will, will clomiphene work on 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 on, on, uh, on the prolactin levels, no. Therefore, if you want to know why you're not conceiving, carry out tests. Uh, okay. Uh, Rhoda Philip is saying, hello doctor, please, I have a 28 day cycle and I just had my period and the day Day one is 18. Please, when, is, when am I overrating? All right. If you have a 28 days cycle, all of you with a 28 day cycle, your ovulation day is on the 14th.
someone uh, case bag. Sorry about that. We have to take this person off. I'll take this person off. Yes. How can we take off this person? Is disturbing our life. Uh, sorry about that, guys. There is someone disturbing, trying to tap into our life uh, on TikTok. But I'm going to stabilize it. Those of you guys on YouTube, just give me a second. We first take off this person. Yes. I don't know how he even came. All right, let me first continue as we are working on our TikTok. Uh, let's continue with questions on our YouTube. Someone is disturbing us there. He's trying to tap into our life. Uh, this one is saying, Rhoda Philip, uh, and I just had a laparoscopy. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Someone disturbed me here, but we are coming back. All right. God's gift is saying, is off? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Someone tried to tap in <laughs> into our life. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, we are back. God is saying, by the time I receive my periods, they, they, they pain me seriously. What brought that problem? All right. We have people who get period pain, okay? We have people who get period pain, and that is called dysmenorrhea. I would say that it, some, to some people it's natural for them to get pains during uh, periods. However, if those pains are severe, if they are severe, that's when we involve treatment. We have two types of, uh, of period pain. Uh, we have the primary period pain, all primary dysmenorrhea and then the secondary dysmenorrhea. There are some people who started having period pain from the time they started their menac. They had menac. Menac is the time you start your periods. Okay? There are people who started having pains during menses from the time they, during childhood. And that is primary amenorrhea. That is usually natural and it is as a result of uh, hormonal fluctuations and you may have little say about it you may have n less to do about it therefore its main kind of management is giving painkillers pain medication however there are those people that get this period in life for example you never had period pains during your childhood at the age of uh, of, of, of 14 15 20 you even gave birth without period pain but later on at 30 years 40 years, uh, 35 years, you started getting period pain. That is called secondary amenorrhea. That one usually has the cause. And the cause is usually a pathological cause. And uh, for example, someone may be having what they call endometriosis. It is the commonest. Someone has endometriosis. Someone has adenomyosis. Endometriosis is when the underlining of the uterine cavity implants itself somewhere else. What we mean by underlining of the uterus implanting somewhere else, you see we have the uterine cavity. Okay? We have this. As much as I don't know how to draw, these ones I know. Chigun, these ones I can draw them very well. <laughs> I can fail the other ones, but these scientific ones at least I know. So this is our uterus. So this inner layer, this uterus has three layers, okay? It has the outermost layer, it has the middle layer, and then the inner layer. So this inner layer, if you, in some women you find that this inner layer moves away and implants some, itself somewhere, like outside 
in the in the ovary uh, in the intestines in the gut anywhere so if this inner layer moves away from its position where it's supposed to be and implants itself somewhere else you get endometriosis and those are women who get severe period pain every month they are having period pain there is also adenomyosis and so on some people have pids okay some people it's pelvic inflammatory diseases that are causing their period pain okay uh, this one is saying any chance you could tell me if i should go to the emergency room what do you mean i don't get you uh, around uh, around mind i don't get your question mrs nina pretty what church <laughs> saying i don't go into my periods please it comes little i used to go in four days but now it's three days three days is okay three days is normal normal menstruation normal periods are between two to uh, to seven days so three days is okay except if you're missing that's when there is a problem but three days is normal and is okay uh doc i failed to get pregnant after miscarriage it's now four years what you're supposed to do is this one rama 996 what you are supposed to do if you you fail to get pregnant after miscarriage go and run tests go and run tests the tests like the, like the tests i've been talking about here go and do those tests go and do a fertility hormonal assay go and do a pelvic ultrasound scan go and do an hsg x-ray let's find out what is happening with you what is causing that then you get treated okay another one saying uh, benz is saying hello hello can a pregnant woman take osteocare plus omega-3 uh, soy is isoflavones with folic acid this one i don't know isoflavones but the other was she, she can take it's okay those are supplements uh, those are supplements uh, they have no problem you can take them uh, i'm with my husband now three months of marriage no pregnant is that okay no it is not okay except if you're not having sex you may be with your husband when you're not having sex that is one two you may be with your husband when you're having sex like once in a week when we say you're not you're failing to conceive when you're having sex at least three times in a week okay and it should be like sex someone told me that they are not conceiving when they are using condoms so it should be live sex for period for two to three uh, three three uh, above three times in a week for a period of six months that is sub fertility and a period of a year that is infertility there are yeah, questions i'm picking them from tiktok okay okay so we have uh, this one saying asifi lydia on youtube you're saying hi doctor please i was diagnosed with hydrosalpings the prescription given to me was clomiphene can it help me yes it can help you but that shouldn't be the only one yeah with hydrosalpings i think uh, go go to the doctor and you discuss more about that rachel butter hi doc i feel something moving in my private part i don't know what it is go and do a, a, a let me now call it the way you're calling it go and do a private part examination go and do a private part examination go to the doctor uh, take off your knicker let the doctor look uh, check there because some of you, you see most people someone comes tells you doctor i have a lot of discharges they are like this you tell them okay let's go i need to look at the discharges i want to look at the color and so on they say ah, you know what now you'll check me tomorrow no so go to the hospital let the doctor check find out what is in your private parts if you're feeling a mass let it be checked if uh, it's not it's not visible then the doctor will perform an ultrasound scan and get to know what is happening with you okay uh, questions many many questions i don't know if we shall finish them there are many questions flowing in god is gift doctor i saw my period on 3rd of october and today 26th it started again please i wish to know if i can ovulate and when i also wish to ask does it mean that i am having two period in two times let's calculate for you let's get to know this you had your periods on third and again you're having them on 26 today okay so today you received visitors <laughs> okay so let's look at it uh 
Uh, so you had periods on on the third, and then you've seen again on twenty sixth. So third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So let's count the number of days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's normal. So that is normal. There is no problem. It's normal. The length of your menstrual cycle is 23 days. So it's normal. What, were, what was your question? Let me get it. Doctor, I, I saw my period on 3rd of October and today is 26th. It started again. I wish to know uh, if I can ovulate. Yes, you can ovulate. So the length of your menstrual cycle is 23 days. Okay? Let's now get it clear. The length of your menstrual cycle is 23 days. The day you are going to ovulate, say 23 minus 18, what do we get? 23 minus 18. 5. We get 5. So, uh, 5 plus 4, we get 9. 9 plus 5, we get 14. Your ovulation day is on the 9th day. Have sex on the 9th day, you will conceive. If there is no any other problem. Okay. Uh, then, Daniel Nyakund is saying, Damn! My wife has 10 years but has never con connived again. Yet doctors test she's okay. What is the problem? I think you're, talk you're saying that she's 10 years and uh, 10 years she has never conceived. She has not conceived in 10 years. Which tests have you done? This is what I usually tell my people, uh, those of you who have been watching my life. Which tests have you done? We may say that you've done all the tests when you've indeed not done everything. First of all, let me know the tests you did, okay? Uh, Daniel Nyakundi, let's know the tests your wife did. A call Cynthia is saying, uh, Doctor, my ovulation is on Friday. I meet my husband on Wednesday. Is there any chance that I'm going to conceive? Your ovulation on Friday, you meet your husband? No, you can't. There are very few chances. The chances are limited. Because Friday... Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You cannot conceive. Five days after ovulation, you cannot conceive. Be rest assured, you cannot conceive. You can't. Five days after your ovulation, day. no, not possible. Not possible. So, um, is it time out for TikTok? All right, so we are going to go off. Those of you on TikTok, we are going to go off right now and then uh, connect, us, connect with us on YouTube. Let's continue with YouTube. Thank you so much. You've been a very good live audience. And I think I've answered uh, some of your questions, though there have been very many. I couldn't answer all of them. Uh, thank you so much for following those of you on TikTok. And bye-bye. Let's meet on YouTube right now. Let's go to YouTube. Take all your questions to YouTube. We answer them. We still have 30 minutes on YouTube. Sign out on TikTok. All right, so we are, we are continuing with our YouTube. Just a second, we continue with our YouTube.
audio is back. All right, we are back. So let's go on. Let's go on. Let's continue with our questions live on YouTube. So uh, a call. Okay, that's all. Rachel Buta is saying, Doctor, I wish to know what makes a woman lose feelings for sex. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is a very serious question. What makes a woman lose feelings for sex? There are many things. Number one, there are very many things that can make a woman lose feelings for sex. Number one, if this woman doesn't love you seriously, if this woman doesn't love you seriously, this woman will lose sex, will lose interest in sex, or will not be having feelings. And that's how people end up saying that this woman doesn't have enough water, enough fluids. Because they, they, they don't feel you. They, 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 their, mind, their, their mind is not with you. Okay? So they won't have those feelings. Even the fluids will be very, very little. That is number one. Number two, the woman may be having feelings in the initial stages. They love you. Everything is okay. But you do something wrong to them. For example, issues to do with cheating. When you cheat on a woman, you see these women, they will keep quiet. They will not, uh, sometimes they will not say anything. They will just forgive. Yes, you will sit with them, apologize. I'm sorry, you know, sweetheart, this will not happen again. Uh, la, 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 like the way women do. She will forgive you. However, women you never forget. They never forget. She will forgive you, but she will never forget. And therefore, deep inside her, she starts losing interest in you. But of course, she has to remain with you because maybe if you're, you're married, okay, you are married, she doesn't want to lose the, 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 the family. Eh? Has, she has children, she has everything. In other words, there is a lot to lose. Okay? So, that woman will have will be because you've had many women saying ah, i'm just there because of my children so at the end of the day this woman will remain in marriage everything seems to be okay but they lost in the, the like the feelings have decreased you can because for us we do many things you can even take her out you can do everything she will forgive you but because she still remembers something the feelings may go away. That is now psychological, the psychological part. But at times, it may be medical. Women who have low levels of estradiol, there is a hormone in the body called estrogen, what my friend called, calls estrogen. <laughs> Frank, I have a friend here, he's called uh, Chigun Frank, he's with me here, uh, enjoying our life today. So he usually talks about a certain hormone called estrogen. Those who know him, uh, they, know, they, they know about that. There is a hormone called estrogen. So that hormone estrogen or estradiol can affect the woman's feelings. That, woman, or that uh, hormone called estradiol can affect the, the, the level of fluids the woman will be having. Because fluids... So, uh, fluids are, are, are produced by the bathroom and the, the Nabothian glands, the glands that are within the vulva and then the other end, the other end of the vagina. That's where the valves that bring about fluids, where women get those vaginal fluids. So, but they are stimulated. It, it, there is a hormonal interplay that occurs there, and then they get stimulated. So, if the, if the estradiol or estrogen levels are low, then a woman will have low Feelings. Another question. A court, Cynthia. Sorry, doctor. I made a mistake. I mean, I meet my husband on Wednesday. Why my ovulation day is this week, Friday? Can I still conceive a baby boy? If if your ovulation day is on Friday and uh, you meet your husband on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, can you conceive a baby boy? Chances are fifty-fifty. They are fifty-fifty. If you want to conceive a baby boy, meet, meet your husband on the ovulation day, all just two days, like on Thursday. Josephine Conde is saying, Doctor, I started my period last month, 14, 
14, 15, 16 this month, I started on, on 18, 19, 20, so can I ovulate? Seriously. Now when you say I started 14, 15, 16, what does this mean really? <laughs> what does it mean? You started your, I started my period on 14, 15, 16. This month I started on 18. What do you mean really? Ask the question clearly, I'll answer you. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Jamel is saying, Doc, whenever I take clomiphene, it drives me up to 30 days cycle. And yet I'm a 26 days cycle in the process. I feel some movements in my womb. What causes that? Yeah. Uh, clomiphene can, can change. Uh, because clomiphene is a hormone, it can cause hormonal changes. And therefore, the, 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 it can change. It can uh, bring about uh, a change in your menstrual cycle. And that can elevate the number of days you're having. So it, it, it is one of the side effects of clomiphene. Uh, you're saying you're feeling something moving in your womb. There is nothing moving in your womb. There is nothing in your womb. It's psychological because you really want to conceive. You badly want to conceive. And now the mind is creating a picture of a baby in your womb. I've seen many women telling you, I've spent many years without conceiving. But when I'm I, I, at night, I feel something is there. Even when I touch, I feel like the leg is kicking. That is psychological. Uh, but it's not a baby. We are continuing with our questions. Uh, God is gift, please, doctor. Can I get uh, pregnant with a fibroid of three centimeters? Can sperm pass through the fibroid? Okay, this is a wonderful question. Uh, getting pregnant with fibroids is very possible. Yes, it is possible. Women can conceive even when they have fibroids. However, the largest percentage will not conceive. There are very few that will conceive with fibroids. And I usually advise that when you conceive with a fibroid, during delivery, deliver by cesarean section, so that the fibroid can be removed, the baby can be taken out and the fibroid removed. Now, uh, whether you can conceive or not, it's a 50-50, but what I advise you is to, is to go and treat that fibroid, okay? Treat that fiber. Can sperm pass through the fibroid? Yes. Sperms can find a way they can, because the fibroid is not occupying, like a fibroid of three centimeters. Okay? A fibroid of three centimeters. Let's look at it. A fibroid of three centimeters is like this. So if a fibro if, if if it's like this, remember sperms are going to pass uh, are going to come from the V through the cervix. Yes, they may fail to navigate here, but some can pass here. Yes, they can navigate the other way around because the fibroid fibroid is on one side. They can find a way of navigating and go to the other end and find the, the, the egg available and fertilization occurs. So it's possible, though, because uh, when you have a fibroid, you have uh, high levels of, uh, of, 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 of estrogen hormone in blood, and uh, you'll be having low levels of progesterone. Therefore, the chances of conceiving are usually low. Uh, having ovulation may be a big problem, but as far as navigation of sperms, there is no problem. Case, big of ad. Uh, Janet Mwenda is saying, I'm 36 years, 28 days. I'm 36 years, 28 days cycle. FSH is 1.8. Ovulation peak is that. Uh, okay, Lucho phase 1.0. That. Lucho phase menopause 8. To, are they normal? You see, uh, Janet Mwenda. I don't know, I cannot tell you whether th these levels are normal or not, except if you give me uh, uh, the reference ranges. Remember, every machine has a different reference range. So, and what you're giving me here, you're telling me FSH is 1.8 mils per 
per what? Uh, per, uh, m uh, international units per meals. I don't know which in reference ranges are you giving us. Uh, ovulation peak 6.3 to 24. Uh, really, you see, when you do a, a, a test, when you do a fertility hormonal test, on that paper, on that report, they usually put the reference ranges. So when you're giving me results to interpret, you need to give me reference ranges. Every ma m different machines have different reference ranges. Caesar Ibrahim, you're saying, Dr. Uthman, thanks for the medical education. I always follow you. Thank you so much. Thanks for following. Mary Ngogo, I use DIPO for three months after I give birth. Then stay for 10 months without periods. Then I use hormonal balance. And you use, you use the hormonal balance and it was back. Now it's 18 months without conceive again. My ovulation is 28 days. Ah. Mary Ngogo, your question is very hard. This is the hardest question I've ever faced. Because number one, you can't, uh, when you tell me your ovulation is 28 days, what do you mean? What do you mean? There is no one who can ovulate on uh, at, at the 28th day of her menstruation. So that one I don't get you. Secondly, uh, you're saying uh, without, you spent 10 months without periods and used the hormonal balance. What do you mean by using hormonal balance? Indeed, I don't understand the question clearly. Make it a little bit simpler, I'll answer you. As if, as if Lydia, doctor, please, my ovulation is on Saturday. When is the best time to meet my husband to conceive a baby girl? Oh, wow. Saturday. So today is, uh, today is, is, uh, is a Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you were supposed to meet your, your, your husband yesterday and some days back. So from now up to Saturday, that is a baby boy. So you are supposed to meet some days, to, yesterday and a day back. Okay, this one is saying Jam. Oh, Jami Jamewo is saying, Doc, can someone can someone fail to conceive if you have same blood group with your partner? No, you cannot fail to conceive if you have the same blood group. It is okay. It is very normal for someone to conceive even when you have the same blood group, and it is even better. It is even better to marry someone you share the, the same blood group. It is okay. There is no problem. Akero Juliet, doctor, after how long can HSG show positives after conceiving? HSG depends on which, which strip you've used. If you use, if you use urine, urine starts at 14 days. Usually 10 to 14 days, you, you, yeah, it can detect positivity. Uh, then for, for blood or what they call serum, it starts as early as five days, five to seven days, we can test positivity. Okay. More questions are flowing and I will make sure that I answer all of you. Uh, this one is saying... This one is saying, hello doctor, good evening, my wife and my wife had painful bleeding and yet she has had not gone two meses. What? Eh? Ndiamohachi Davis is saying, hello doctor, a good evening. My wife had painful bleeding and yet she had, she had not gone in meses. Eh? Now what are you meaning? Ndiamohachi, she, she, she had menstrual, she had bleeding Painful bleeding, yet she was not in her menses. What exactly? So what was what where was the blood? What, where was blood coming from? So it wasn't menstruation, and she was. I'm not getting you. And yet she had gone in menses. What could be the problem? We we went to the hospital, but issues continued. Thanks. I, I don't know. Someone help me understand this question. Someone help me because. Your wife had painful bleeding and yet she had not gone into menses. What does it mean? I don't get your question, Jamuhachi. I'm sorry. I can't answer that because I don't exactly know what you are meaning. Uh, Faith no no is saying you are skipping my question. Why? Oh no no ask again. I don't I didn't see the question. <laughs> I didn't see the question. You know many questions keep on flowing and they are 
uh, you know, sc uh, they scroll themselves even. So please ask again. I'm going to look for your question. Ask your question again, Faith. Scovia Nantongo. Hi, doctor. How long does fallopian tube take to heal after tube flushing? It's now three weeks. I used flucamox and zamasal. Now let me tell you. When you say fallopian tubes take to heal, after what? What did you have? What was the problem with your fallopian tubes? Okay, is it a PID? Are they blocked? What is it? How? What exactly was happening? So let me know what exactly happened to your fallopian tubes. Then I can know when they can heal. Nsimirwa, Christine is saying, "Hello, Doctor. My last menstruation period was on second Feb, twenty twenty-three. So I'm requesting you to kindly." Uh, to kindly to tell me clear date to deliver. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Date of delivery. All right. EDD. We need to sing some congratulations to this woman who got pregnant. Similar 44 Christine. Congratulations to you. So, let's calculate your EDD. Let's calculate your EDD in Similar. Uh huh. You say you said you had uh, uh, my last menstruation period was on second. So if it was LNMP, and let me assume that this your, the, 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 the second of Feb is when you started the periods, not the last day. So let me assume that. So if we are second of Feb, twenty twenty three. What are we supposed to do? Add nine, add seven. Someone is going to ask me, where do you get that? Uh-huh. So when you add nine and add seven, you will get nine, ninth. So this was sec second of Feb, eh? 2023. So you get ninth of November 2023. This is your EDD. Nsimirwe, 44 Christine, you're likely to, 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 to give birth on 9th of November 2023. So prepare. And uh, however, it's a plus or minus two weeks. Okay? Plus or minus two weeks. That means you, can you, may, you will deliver between Two weeks here, that is between, in other words, late, in late October and mid November. That's when, that is the period you probably may be able to deliver. However, this is your EDD, and most women deliver on their expected date of deliveries. Okay. This one is saying, uh, Mary Ngojo is saying, please give me your location. My location, I am in Masaka, Bikoff Medical Center in Masaka. Hmm? Mm. Bikoff Medical, let me write it for you, Center, Masaka City. That's my location. Mm. Big of medical center, Masaka City. All right, then Caesar Ibrahim, hello, doctor. Can you please explain for me on how to prescribe clomiphen? How to prescribe clomiphen? Number one, Caesar, you, uh, uh, since you said you are my follower, number one, before you press, you, you're likely to be a, a, a doctor. So, Dr. Caesar Ibrahim, before you prescribe clomiphen, first confirm that it is needed, confirm that we have low levels of luteinizing hormone or follicostimulating hormone or maybe if you're prescribing it for twins. So now, whatever the case may be, let's assume that the, the, the indication is very clear. It's a good indication. Chromifen is given depending on the length of someone's menstrual cycle. You'll find in those leaflets, uh, in those packets, so the leaflets for the drug, they will tell you give on the third day or fourth day. They are doing that, they are telling you to give it on those days because they are assuming that the woman or you, that woman is having a 28 days cycle. That's the assumption. So, if your woman is not having a 28 days cycle, 
then that's not when you're supposed to give it. So for a 28-day cycle, give it on the third and fourth day. How much are you supposed to give? Give 100 milligrams. Usually, clomiphene is given in 50 milligrams. Those tablets are usually 50 milligrams. But there are those that have 100 milligrams. So give, if it's 50 milligrams, give two tablets. If it's 100 milligrams, give one tablet. So it is uh, that one tablet or two tablets for a period of five days. I think I am very clear. We have uh, Yahaya Ohume, Ohuneme Hassan 1189 saying, Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Good evening, doctor. My last menstruation was 9th of October 2023. When can I meet my husband? Yahaya Ohuneme, I don't know because. I don't know the length of your menstrual cycle. I cannot predict your ovulation day all the fertile days when I don't know the length of your menstrual cycle. So let me know the length of your menstrual cycle. I will help. I think uh, uh, our time is really getting up. There is someone I wanted, I wanted this person to ask a question. Mary Ngojo, I'm winding up the live and you've not asked the question. And you are complaining that indeed I didn't as answer your question. Uh, and I wanted really to answer your question. Let me see if I can look for your question here. Mary Ngojo, Mary Ngojo, Mary Ngojo. And it may be a serious question because you've really insisted, but I'm not seeing the question. Please, I, I am giving you a chance. Ask that question again, I'll answer. I don't want to leave when you are not happy with me. Okay, all right. So I think we are going to end our live, but uh, those of you following me, I think I will answer only one question. Those of you following me, do not forget to follow a, a YouTube channel called IT.next. IT.next for all your uh, IT techniques. You want to know how you can do this. You want to install your cameras. You want to do everything. Follow a YouTube channel called IT.next. That man is the one behind my camera here. Mr. Kessberg of IT.next, CEO IT.next is the one behind the camera, behind the beautiful, all those beautiful pictures you're seeing, and also behind the delay we had today. But he has worked on it very well, and that's why you're able to watch my live today. So follow IT.next, IT.next, uh, it's on, our, on, on YouTube. Follow him, he will be able to give you the best of the IT experience. Thank you so much uh, for watching me. And for those of you who would like to have a private chat, a private conversation with me, go to my website, www.drothman.com. Book an appointment. I'll come there. We chat and we solve your problem. I think, th thank you so much for the live today. Uh, I'll be live again next week on Thursday, same time. The, I'll keep the time next week and it will be 7 p.m. or 19 hours. East African time. Thank you so much. God bless you and have a nice time.